last week's what I eat in a day, which I'll have linked above and below. Make sure you check that out. I made, I threw together this lunch, which was just like this sweet cabbage stir fry. And I added in this ingredient that you guys all seem to be super excited about. In fact, my favorite comment was, I will snort that oil chili paste. So that's pretty intense. Thanks, Leanna, for that comment. I figured, you know, I mean, if people are willing to snort this, like I gotta share this with people. Like this is this is real. Stay tuned, I'm getting ready to show you guys how I make my garlic chili oil. So the first step in making this chili oil is to chop up your garlic and you don't want the, this to be super fine, um, but you also do want to have some decent sized chunks. If you have a food processor, you could probably just put all of the garlic in a food processor and then just pulse it a few times. So you're looking for this kind of consistency. Remember, this is just gonna be kind of like a hot sauce that you add to soups and stir fries and whatever, so it's kind of a preference here. In the meantime, while I was chopping that, I went ahead and had my oil heating up. The ratio for this is I did two cups of garlic and four cups of oil, okay? And then for the chili part, that's just kind of a preference as well, okay? So to know if your oil is ready to add your garlic to it, you can use a skewer and or anything wood really uh, you could use a wooden spoon or whatever and you just touch it in the oil and if it starts to bubble then your oil's hot enough okay you don't want it to be scorching hot and you don't want it to be not hot at all so that would be a good tester there also quick recommendation if you are doing this inside which i would prefer not to but for the sake of the video i am I went ahead and closed all the bedroom doors in my house and I also have an air purifier that I'm going to be turning on after and I turned the air off because my main unit that pulls the air is right here and so this is going to smell up the whole house. So I have the doors open outside and the bedroom doors closed because this is going to get stinky. So let's get started. wanted to mention that I did use grapeseed oil. I used grapeseed oil because it is a more mild oil. It doesn't have a strong flavor. So I wouldn't recommend using like um, olive oil or something that has like an actual flavor to it for this recipe. Maybe like avocado oil or grapeseed oil or something like that. And I try to stay away from vegetable oil as well. So Anyway, that's why I use grapeseed oil. And then to flavor this up, because remember, this is a condiment. This is going to be like, kind of like a hot oil. So it's gonna, you want it to be salty, you want it to have flavor, and it's just to add to different things. If you're not familiar with Asian cuisine, this is something that's pretty common in Asian cuisine. Um, and if you haven't tried it, you're not really gonna know exactly what to expect, but think of like hot sauce. This is like a hot sauce without the vinegar. So it's gonna have that depth of flavor from the garlic and it's going to have like that saltiness um so anyway to add salt to it i'm going to add this um better than bouillon it's a vegetable bouillon so i'm going to add about let's say about a teaspoon of this and then maybe like a teaspoon of salt because you do want this to be salty and i'll just kind of taste it at the end i'm not going to add this though until the garlic is browned once the garlic is browned then i will add my chilies which you can add any chilies that you'd like. I'm adding these Korean chilies and these are coarse Korean chilies. These are the same type of chilies that you would use in like kimchi. I'm using these ones because I like how red it gets. Um, so when I'm adding it to soup or something like that, it kind of makes everything look red and spicy, but they're, they're really not that hot. So you'll just have, kind of have to figure out what kind of chilies you want to use. I did order these on Amazon and I think when I typed it in, I literally typed in Korean chilies and fat made sure that they were coarse. Okay. All right, so you can see now that the color has changed and also the consistency has changed because they were sinking to the bottom, but now all the liquid has evaporated, so now they are floating. This oil is gonna stay hot for a little while, so even though this is not quite the dark brown that I would like, I know that there's gonna be residual heat from the oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now and remove it from the burner that I have it on, but not on camera because this is hot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chilies. Oh, 
He's outside somewhere, baby. I ended up adding enough chili to absorb the majority of the oils. So you can still see there's a little bit of oil, but when you mix it up, it's you can tell it's definitely sopped up a lot of the oil. Remember, this is going to be something that just to add flavor to stuff, so don't worry about the oil here because you're going to be using maybe like a teaspoon per serving. So this is a large batch. This is going to last probably a year in the fridge for us. This is quite a bit. I'm going to add in now my... Um, veggie bouillon and remember this is just for extra flavoring this is not necessary you could add just salt but I'm going to add in some veggie bouillon and a little bit of salt as well so I'm just gonna store this in mason jars and as I mentioned I'm gonna keep it in the fridge I would not recommend keeping this out it will after a few weeks it's gonna the oil is gonna kind of like go rancid and it's gonna change the flavor it's not gonna hurt you to eat it if it does if the flavor does change but it doesn't keep its fresh delicious flavors so this recipe does take a little bit of time but it's totally worth it and I highly recommend doing like a big batch at once this is awesome to give to people too so around holidays or anything like that you just don't know what to get people spend a good two three hours make a massive batch put them in cute little mason jars and gift it to a friend it is so delicious so unique tasting it's not like anything i had ever had until i actually started trying um, vietnamese food and it's so much better to actually make it at home because you can take out all the bad oils you can use a higher grade oil you can use fresh garlic and you can make sure that you're not putting in artificial salts like MSG and you can kind of create it and adapt it to however your tastes are so I hope you guys like that I look forward to next week's video because I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys a um, it's gonna be like following me for the week every night what we have for dinner so I'm actually working on that right now so I hope you guys stay tuned for that remember that all of these recipes are going to be created to help you guys be inspired to eat vegan so until next week subscribe girl boy subscribe show your girl some support subscribe s-u-b s-c-r-i-b-e do that that button that says that click it and then what I really want you to do is leave me a comment because I'm gonna start shouting my people out some of my best comments seem to get unnoticed so I'm gonna start shouting my people out because I know who my real supporters are here leave me a comment hit the like button make sure you turn on the bell that way you know when I upload because I am a terrible consistent uploader and I'm sure this has nothing to do with the fact that I have four kids and I'm trying to homeschool I'm trying to continue to put out quality content so anyway hit the bell that way you know when I'm uploading and make sure you come back next week so you can have some really great ideas on some new dinners. Yeah, that's it. See ya.